Hello. The purpose of this video is to instruct you on how to safely remove the hard disk drive from a Mac Store One Touch 2 uh, USB connected external hard drive. Uh, these units actually had rather capacious hard drives, uh, but the electronics that control their interface to computers really sucked. Therefore, many of these units actually ended up in the back of people's desks unused after spending fruitless hours trying to get it to connect either under Windows XP or Windows Vista. Nevertheless, uh, these units contain uh, fairly large sized EIDE drives which can be used as replacements if they are removed from the unit. Basically what's involved is to remove two screws here this actually sits in a drive tray uh, to slide it out at that point from uh, the case and then remove the retaining screws uh, from the hard drive case itself, freeing the drive. So I will show you how to do each of those steps in turn and we will begin now. This unit actually has on its side two screws on the upper and lower portions um, which just need to be removed using a Phillips uh, screwdriver. As always when working with electronics make sure to ground yourself especially with the consumer stuff to prevent um, accidental damage from electrostatic discharge. Hold on for a second and I will actually remove the screw since I cannot hold my camcorder and do this at the same time. These screws are actually fairly small and are easy to wear down. So make sure that you have a Phillips screwdriver which is uh, sufficient uh, to remove them uh, quickly. And I'll remove those screws right now. These should come out fairly easily as long as you have the correct bit on the screwdriver. Uh, what prompted me to do this was actually one of my XP home machines had a failed hard drive and instead of trying to spend a decent chunk of change ordering a legacy EIDE drive I decided to rummage around and find something I could use. Now I've removed the screws so at this point they're sitting free however this isn't going to move at all. What you need to do is um, at this point, there's a small area right here on the bottom, um, right there, which you can use needle nose pliers to gently pry it out and um, slide the drive out from the tray. I'm going to put the unit down for a second to do that. It's a little tight. So it may take a moment to show up. Now I'll show you. The unit slides out at this point. It's in pretty tight. So I'll put the I've, I'll put the camcorder down for a moment just to take it out of its case. But it's in a carrier tray, so uh, it just slides directly out. Now fully removed from the tray, you see that it's just a EIDE drive with a cabling. Um, this is actually a clip that goes in. Um, that can be removed actually rather easily and set aside. Uh, what you will find is there are retaining screws, normal hard drive retaining screws, four of them which need to be removed.
So I'm going to put this down and I will remove those four screws. Uh, there's no special need for this. These are standard hard drive retaining screws. Uh, so you just need to loosen and remove them on each side and then you're good to go. The primary difficulty is just getting the drive out of the enclosure. Once you've done that, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, this particular OneTouch 2 unit has a 300 gig hard drive. So while that may seem fairly small by the one terabyte and two terabyte standards today, that's certainly enough for a system disk, which is what I'm really looking to replace on my system. So here we go. So just remove these screws after they've been loosened. So drive sitting free. Um, a little pressure on it should lift more or less straight out. Um, the connector cable is right here and power to straight. It's a straight Molex connector for this. We'll put this down for a moment to remove it. Remember, power cables can seem like they're a little tight. Just use gentle pressure and rock very slightly back and forth and it should free even the most reluctant hard drive from its power connector. So, here we go drive is now separated from the Maxter One Touch uh, external drive bay chassis and it is ready for reformatting and use. So I hope this helps. Signing off.